Well, the starting point should be to know yourself first, to know what your strengths, know what your weaknesses are, to think about things. But you really should want to have a passion for what you do, and I think that's incredibly attractive. The most religiously homogenous country, Lithuania, is also the most religious. And that's the opposite of my theory. I'm Sam Podolikio. I'm a professor at Georgetown University's Semester in Washington program, and I'm from Washington, D.C. in the United States of America. I'm giving lots of lectures on lots of different topics. I'm talking about religion and politics. I'm talking about communication. I'm talking about what a good leader does, and I'm also talking about how to think like a social scientist. You know, I've participated in about seven or eight youth forums, and it's a lot different because, first of all, I think camping and almost surviving outdoors as this incredible element that bonds the students together, and secondly, it's, it's really a large forum and, and they really get to know each other even though we have 500 students here these students are making very intense connections and I attribute that a lot to the surroundings these beautiful surroundings that we have. Only has one major religion. that's because the best religion won the competition and so it's still a very strong things. One, you want to treat every single person with dignity and respect and treat them like an individual. That's one of the ways that you can get lots of followers as a future leader. Two, I think you should think about issues in a more complex way. There are lots of details and lots of nuances that sometimes people overlook. And I think third is to try to inspire students to be passionate about what they believe in and what they love you know, because that makes for a more exciting life. How about the Asian countries itself? Well, for example, Malaysia itself. Don't to be a leader, you need to be the right person at the right time. And you also need to be someone who's going to be very comfortable with uncertainty. So you don't know what path you're going to take. And you also have to be someone who's willing to fail. Sometimes when you trip, there's treasure there. And sometimes when you fail, you have even more hope for the future. And I think that's something important that we all have to realize. You know, I think we need to be more humble about everything, not just religion, but just about how we go about our lives. And I think if there's more humility involved, people are less likely to pretend that they know all the answers. And I think that can be very helpful as we deal with conflicts around the world.